Let's get started with Facebook. One of the best ways to use Facebook is to share content that you post to your blog, so you'll need to get a blog. Many of you have already done this by visiting showsci.listpipe.com. It only takes about five minutes, and at the end of the process, you'll have a fully capable blog website and will begin receiving your own personalized content that we write for you once each week. This is a great foundation to your Facebook social media marketing strategy. Let's take a few minutes to learn how we can use Facebook to connect with friends and associates and share stories and information on the Internet. Facebook is the leading social media platform with over 200 million users. That's a lot of opportunities to connect, share, and grow. There's a lot you can do in Facebook, and this is just the beginning to help you get started. To begin, start a Facebook account. It's really easy to do and just takes a couple of minutes. Once you have a Facebook account, I'll show you how to connect with some friends and how to share content from your blog. First, go to Facebook.com and sign up by completing the sign-up form. All you need to do is enter your first name, last name, your email address, and create a new password. Make sure you write it down. Facebook will also ask you for your gender and your birth date. Click the green Sign Up button, and you'll be taken to a CAPTCHA page to confirm that you are human. Click Sign Up again, and then check your email for the Facebook confirmation email. Click the link in the email to complete the process, and you're finished. Facebook will now walk you through a few steps to just get you going. In step one, Facebook can use your online email account to help you find friends. If you're using an online email account such as Gmail, Yahoo, or MSN, enter your email address and, use, and password, and Facebook will help you connect with the people you already know. In step two, Facebook can help you connect with the people you might know by linking you to other Facebook users by your school and company information. Fill in these fields to help you find friends that you might know from school or work. You don't have to become friends with anyone. This is just one of the ways that Facebook can help you find people. This information is used to help other people find you also. But don't worry, you must confirm any connections you make in Facebook, and you always have the opportunity to reject or delete invitations you don't want to pursue. In step three, you have the opportunity to upload a photo of yourself. I recommend using a photo that your friends can recognize. Select to upload an image, or Facebook can take your photo using your webcam if you have one on your computer. To upload a photo you have on your computer, select Upload a Photo and browse your files to find the right image. Click Upload, and after the image appears on your Facebook page, click Save and Continue. The first page you'll see is the Welcome page. This page allows you to search for friends, complete your profile, activate a mobile phone for mobile updates, and configure security settings. To find a friend to connect with, enter their name in the Find People You Know box and click the search button. Facebook will give you a list of possible matches. You'll see that this is a good reason to make sure your photo is recognizable. When you find the right person, add them as a friend by clicking the Add as Friend link on the right. You'll need to confirm your request, and an invitation will be sent to that person. Your friend will receive the invitation and will have the opportunity to reject or accept your invitation. If this is the first time you're adding a friend, you'll also have to enter the CAPTCHA again for security. Facebook then gives you a selection of friends of your friends with whom you might also be friends. Add as many as you like using the same method. Once you have added some friends, Head over to your home page in Facebook to see your news feed. This is where all your friends' posts will appear and where your opportunity to engage with them begins. The easiest way to get to your home page is to click the Facebook logo in the top left corner. You can do this at any time while you're logged in to get back to your home screen. This will come in handy as you learn to browse your friends' profiles and pictures and is a great way to reset to back home if you get lost. While on your home screen, Make some comments or like some of the comments made by your friends. Get involved and become part of the conversation. This is the first step in engaging with your audience of friends. The next step is in sharing and creating content. On your profile page, you'll see a box at the top for entering whatever is on your mind. This is the place where you create your announcements and post ideas and original comments to your friends. Whatever you post in this box will become available to your friends in their news feed. Start with a general announcement letting everyone know that you're on Facebook. 
The other way is to share content. It's easy to share content from your blog, for instance, by clicking on a share tag at the bottom of an article. There are lots of ways to share information, but the easiest is to look for a share tag on the article you want to share and click the Facebook icon. When you share an article, Facebook allows you to make a comment, includes a link, and usually includes an image from the article. Whenever you share an article, take a moment to give a quick description or add a personalized comment to give your friends an idea of what the article is about or to entice them to visit the link that you've posted. This is a great way to get the word out about your business and to let other friends know what you're up to or simply to share something you found on the Internet. As you spend time with Facebook, you'll find more opportunities to connect with old friends and to make new ones. Facebook is also the most popular place on the Internet to share photos, so you'll want to experiment with sharing your own photos, too. Don't sweat the little stuff. It will all come natural to you in time as you continue to explore and try things out. There's no way to break it, and you'll always be asked to confirm any submissions or uploads. If you make a mistake, you can always remove your own content. Get started by telling friends about your business news and success. Invite them to engage with you as often as you can. 